Hi everyone, and a very, very good afternoon. Welcome to our very special Home Choir Sing and Send revision session. Now, we're not going to be looking at any new music today. These are three pieces that we know of old. We're going to have Leave Her Johnny, the Shoshone Love Song, and the beautiful piece I Leave With You by Amy Beach. We've looked at all three of these pieces in the past, some going back some years now, and the links to the original teaching sessions are all in the description of this video. But this is a one-stop shop, if you like, where we're going to go through all of the parts, all of the harmonies, is and I'm going to timestamp the video once we've finished streaming it so you can come back to this and you can then practice for the upcoming sing and send sessions. Now next Wednesday we're going to have the Shoshone love song session so that's the one I want you to focus on this week then we'll have a week or two off to just give you time to record it we don't want to overload you and then we'll get on with the other two. Now just let me check that everything's working in terms of sounds today. <laughs> have Lever Johnny ready to go. Here it is. Uh... Excellent. So we're going to skip ahead a bit. Lots and lots and lots of lovely instruments in that, including cantalet, of course, and lots and lots of guitars. I think for that one, I think I recorded five different guitar tracks, all with different instruments to give you the sort of ensemble feel. So we've got Lever Johnny, we've got the Shoshone Love Song, otherwise known as the Twinkly One, and then the beautiful piece I Leave With You. It's a really nice little selection of pieces, all voted for, of course, by the home choir community. So uh, well chosen everybody. So I hope you're all having a good day today. I think the chances of the home choir effect breaking the overcast clouds here, not desperately likely, but you can never tell. And if it is sunny where you are, well, do please feel free to share and uh, send us some in the live chat. You can see here we've got a lovely, vibrant community of people from all over the world who have come along to sing these lovely pieces with us today. So as I say, if it's sunny, do share. I hope you brought enough for the entire class. And if it's not, well, then you can just enjoy this lovely singing and I'm sure the sun will shine where you are very soon. So, yes, everything is good here. I've got my coffee, although it's nearly finished. I, th I think I might just... Oh. That's it. Coffee's done. And now we're, we're on the water. Need to make sure I've got plenty of hydration solution in order to get through three sessions. We're not going to actually be teaching the uh, individual parts, apart from a couple of little bits of extra revision. The main teaching, particularly for Peace I Leave With You, was uh, was done on a video, I would have been a couple of years ago now. So if you don't remember Peace I Leave With You and after today, if you need a bit of extra revision, use the links in the description for today and they will take you along to those sessions. So how's everyone doing? Very well, I hope. Excellent. So let me just see how is everyone doing today. Well, let me first of all welcome everyone who's watching later on. Hundreds and hundreds of people watch these broadcasts after we live stream. And so I want to thank all of you. And I do hope that you enjoy this broadcast. And if you've never learnt these pieces before, well, you're a great opportunity here. Remember, our Sing and Send program, unlike other choirs, is free. It is funded by the home choir community, but we don't charge for you to take part. So do please tell everyone uh, there's no limit. He says slightly, uh, slightly cautiously, there's no limit to the number of people we can have take part in this. So do please share it far and wide. Hello to everyone who I know is watching live, but isn't in the live chat this afternoon. And I hope you all enjoy this as well. Particular hellos to Helene and Bill and Val. Hello, folks. Hello, Sue and Tony. Hello, Sally and Annie. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Harry. Hello, June. Hello to Anne and Linda and Charlotte and Nikki and Huyen and Val and Katie. And then hello, everyone over here. Fabulous turnout this afternoon. Hope you're all doing very well. And let me welcome you all. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Christine. Hello, Dave. Hello, Jill. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Liz. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. 
Hello, Diane. Hello, Gaynor. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Janet. Hello, Jean. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello, Laney B. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Linda. Hello, Marie. Hello, Mary. Hello, Michael. Hello, Mike. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Susanna. Susanna. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Valai. Hello, Wendy. Hello to all of you. I hope I didn't miss anyone off. That's the list as uh, YouTube was providing it to me. I did see earlier on Alison and Irena will be joining us later on as they have appointments and I hope they will go well for both of you. So how's everyone doing? Good, good, good. Lovely to see you all. Well, look, let's get started as we've got three pieces to look at this afternoon and we will be playing them all through the number of times of parts. So if it's a four part piece, we're going to be hearing it four times. So uh, this will probably go longer than the half hour, though hopefully not much more, particularly if I start soon and stop waffling. So let's do that, shall we? Let's have the home choir in B flat for today. So sing a B flat to D or an F and we can start the show. Here we go. Nice deep breath and... Oh. singing everyone and a very warm welcome to our sing and send revision special all three of the songs we're going to be looking at this afternoon leave her johnny shoshone love song and peace i leave with you are pieces that we have learned pri uh, prior to this session but we haven't gone through some of the harmonies for leave her johnny and uh, really it's been a while so i thought what i'd do before we embark on our sing and send program which was of course uh, crowdfunded by all of you we are going to have a quick revision session. That's what today is all about. Now, before that, let me tell you what is coming up on the channel as we've got a packed week coming up with an extra broadcast. More on that in a minute. This coming Friday, we've got a brilliant fun Friday session with some Calypso in the form of Jump in the Line, otherwise known as Shake, 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 Sinara, Shake Your Body Line by Harry Belafonte. Absolutely fantastic song and we're going to accompany that with all sorts of other cheery numbers to hopefully put a much needed smile on everyone's face and brighten up your day particularly if the weather is as it is here today on sing sunday we've got a brilliant program we're going to sing the uh, amy beach piece i leave with you which we're looking at today and the shoshone love song we're also going to have some extra little pieces a couple of pieces from the mozart requiem the confutatis and lacrimosa and a very special brand new recording of a beautiful work by Herbert Howells, which we haven't learned yet on the channel. It's called Like as the Heart. It is absolutely beautiful, and uh, myself and Katie recorded it over Easter, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Now, of course, next week we have the all-important Sing and Send for the Shoshone Love Song. That's going to be this time next week, so you have a week to just brush up and revise. I'll be telling you all about it in just a moment. And then following that, on Thursday... There is an extra session because I have been recently absolutely blown away by the advances in artificial intelligence and music creation. And those of you that are long term subscribers and followers of Home Choir will know that about a year ago we were looking at ChatGPT and some very, very early AI music generators. And it, we were of the opinion that whilst there was potential, there was a long way to go. Well, it's fair to say things have moved on significantly since then. So, what we're going to do on Thursday next week at 2 pm, please join us live if you can, we're going to create a brand new piece. It's going to be a song and uh, using a, a piece of uh, online software called Suno and some other free online tools we are going to create a choral piece which we're then going to sing on Fun Friday alongside some of our mobile madness favorites. So if you're in any way interested in any way in artificial intelligence frankly you should all be because it is the way that the world is going come along on Thursday and Friday next week to see what the technology can do because my goodness me things have moved on now you, what an amazing program we've got and it's only here on Home Quiet that you get this breadth and this range of music so if you enjoy it and you want to support us you can do so by buying us a coffee just go along to homequiet.org slash donate and uh, if you wouldn't mind supporting us then that would be fantastic because we are 100% supported by your kind donations and to everyone who does support us whether it's a one-off or you're kind enough to support us on a monthly basis thank you thank you thank you and of course 
such a lot going on, you need to be a newsletter subscriber. So in order to have that newsletter in your inbox every week, lovingly prepared by the HomeQuad team, just go along again to homequad.org, sign up, fill in the very short form. We promise to never use it for spam, only to send you this beautiful newsletter, which is crafted, as I say, with great care and love every week. And that's it. It's all you need to do. And if you tell us when your birthday is, as these three choristers have done, we will sing you happy birthday when your special day rolls around. And today we've got the birthdays of John, Suzanne and Rick, all three of whom are celebrating their birthdays. So let's sing for them, shall we, everyone? There's your notes. And people join together from around the world singing after two. One, two. Happy birthday. Happy returns of the day to all three of you. More birthdays to come, of course, on Fun Friday. So let's crack on. We've got a busy session today. The point of today, as I've been saying, is to revise the three songs that we're going to be looking at in the next three Sing and Send sessions. Next week, we'll be recording Shoshone Love Song. Then we'll have a break of a week or two. And then we'll have a look at the next one, which will most likely be Leave Her Johnny. And then the final one will be a couple of weeks after that. And that will be Peace I Leave With You. Rather than bunch them all together and give you a lot of homework, we thought we'd space them out and give you plenty of time to record. So no recording needed for today which I hope will be a great relief to everyone. So this first one, which we're going to look at this afternoon, is Leave Her Johnny. This is a sea shanty. And we learnt this, well, goodness me, well over a year ago, possibly two years ago. Now, I, I, frankly, it's all melded and all blurred into one. Now, there are four parts to learn for this. The first is the main unison line, which we'll start with. Then we have a bass part, a tenor part, and a sop slash alto part, which is moderately low for sopranos, right smack bang in the middle of the range for altos. The point is to create a choral sound, which is reminiscent of what you might find on board an old sailing ship. And I have to say, aside from a few cheeky stowaways there's very few soprano voices generally speaking found on board ship so let's start off with the main song itself with the part that's marked here unison and you can see here unison unison, unison. where it says chorus harmony there is of course uh, harmony added but the tune will proceed all the way through <laughs> So let's remind ourselves of how the verse goes. It goes. Oh, the times are hard and the wages low. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. But now once more ashore we'll go. And it's time for us to leave her. Okay, this first verse, we keep it nice and straightforward. Some of the later verses, I throw in a bit of what's called syncopation. We go slightly offbeat in a couple of the words, but this first verse, because it's establishing the sound, we sing it straight. So let's just sing it with the backing track here. And we will get this first verse under our belts. I see breath, two, three, four. All the times are hard and the wage is low. Now we go into the chorus, which goes, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Okay, let's sing that chorus together. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Are we ready? Here we go. And leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Great. Now, this next verse, and indeed all the verses and choruses that follow, follow the same outline, follow the same shape, but just listen out. In the third line, there's usually a little bit of extra rhythmic interest. For example, in this next verse, we say, I thought I heard the captain say, leave her, Johnny, leave her. That's exactly the same rhythmically, melodically. This next line, though. Tomorrow we will get our pay. Did you hear at the end of that line? Tomorrow we will get our pay. We push those notes 
slightly ahead, forming what's called syncopation. Follow me as we sing, I thought I heard the captain say, and then everything else is the same. Here we go. I thought I heard the captain say, leave her, Johnny, leave her. some harmony there which we'll look at in a moment as we go on all the times are hard and the wages low leave her johnny leave her same as before but now once more ashore we'll go there's that syncopation and it's the same in the next verse tomorrow we will get our pay and then indeed in verses five and six it's time me boys that we went to there's an extra bit of syncopation in verse five it's time me boys that we went to and then the last verse from liverpool ducks to brooklyn yard so syncopation it's always in that third verse a uh, third line and it's verses two three four five and six that there's that extra syncopation let's go back and let's sing oops with the birthdays let's go back and let's sing from verse three to the end of the song with the tune and then we'll have a look at the harmony. So, ready to sing about the rats? Here we go. All the rats have gone and it's for the crew. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. It's time, me boys, that we went to. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. before we sing the very last verse you can see here there's a little bit of extra complexity and we sing the third chorus the th sorry the last chorus three times in total okay otherwise the winds were found the trip was long before we go we'll sing our song syncopated as before let's have that last verse and then the chorus three times <laughs> So that is the complete unison line. Just watching out, as I say again, in the first verse, it's, the rhythm is straight. And then in verses two, three, four, five, and six, that third line's always a little bit syncopated. But I will say, if you're there singing along in a few weeks' time when we do this one and you get the rhythm in the wrong place, please don't worry about it. We have the world's greatest sound engineers working on this project and they'll just nudge it into place. Now let's go back to the top because we we have to look now at the harmony and the harmony is the same 
each time. Okay, I kept it as straightforward as I could because what's the point of making it overly complicated? You just want it to sound good and fun. So first verse unison, first chorus is unison, no harmony there. It's the second chorus that we bring in the harmony and it's the same all the way through. So let's start off with the bass part. Ooh, that's unexpectedly echoey. So let's have a listen to the bass line here. And you will just bear with me a moment just while I tweak some of the settings so we don't hear everything else. So let's have the bass line on its own. You'll hear it's really quite straightforward. Here we go. Might be a little bit on the low side for first bases, but for second bases, you'll be right at home. And if it is a little bit on the low side for first bases, just leave out the notes that don't fit. Let's have a go at that together. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Starting on the G, it goes. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Or oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. Okay, let's sing that along with the voice louder parts. Nice deep breath, off we go, and... Leave her, Johnny, leave her, oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. That's the same for each of the choruses, OK? So now let's have a look at the tenor line. This is only a little bit lower, a little bit higher, I should say, than the bass. Let's have a quick listen, this is what it sounds like. Leave her, Johnny, leave her, oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the right is done and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. Okay. Leave her, Johnny, leave her, oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. There's a couple of little extra little decorative moments in that. I'm going to leave that up to you. I want actually what's called a heterophonic sound, which is where there might be some little twiddles that certain people do and others don't. It, it, bearing in mind that when you're listening to a, a choir of ragtag, uh, ragtag ragamuffins on board a ship, they're unlikely to sound like King's College, Cambridge. But that being said, let's just go through that line again. It goes, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Let's have a go at singing that with the backing track. Here we go, it's the tenor, voice louder. And this is exactly the same for each of the choruses. Here we go. Ready and leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us. Exactly the same as I say for each and every one of the verses. Now then, sopranos and altos, thanks for your patience, everyone. Usually it's the basses have to wait till last, isn't it, on a Wednesday? So let's put the tenors down a bit. Let's bring the altos and sops. As I said in my little preamble to this piece, I deliberately didn't put in a very high soprano sound, partly because I'm not a soprano, and partly because it wouldn't actually sound in place to have sort of top Gs in a, a piece like this. It's supposed to have that uh, seafaring crew sort of sound. So let's have a quick listen to it. Here we go. And. Okay, so all around the C and the D with a couple of little bits, excursions up to the F. Okay, so middle C, it actually starts on the B below. Leave her, Johnny, leave her, or oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Okay, listen to that again, starting on the B, it goes. Leave her, Johnny, leave her, or oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done. Let's 
let's have a go at singing that together, sops and altos. Here we go, back to the beginning of the chorus. Starting there, here we go, and leave her job. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn all of the voice louders up so we'll hear a really nice big harmony part on the next chorus. And this is what they'll all sound like when we're all singing. Here we go. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the wind's down below. It's time for us to leave her. Yeah, let's try that one more time. So this time, what I'm going to do, I'll leave the parts as they are. I'm going to put the tune in as well. And you'll hear it creates a nice four-part texture. So whichever part you're going to sing, get ready, because it's coming up now. Here we go. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the wind's down low. And it's time for us to leave her. Fabulous. So, and of course, at the end, we sing that three times. So let's have three times through the chorus. And if we're going to sing multiple lines, we can jump from one to the other. Let's have that very, very last verse. The winds were foul and the trip was long. Here we go. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. But before we'll go, we'll sing our three-part song. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave Second her time. Leave her, Johnny, leave her Won't leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her Last time Leave her, Johnny, leave her Won't leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her and there you have it. Now, remember, when we first taught that song, all I did is teach the unison parts. That's the first time we've had the harmonies taught here, and that is going to be one of our three sing and send sessions. Well done, everyone. Have a quick sip of drink. It won't be our first session. The first one, which is next week... Oh, that was rather unexpected. Where did that go? Uh, first one, which is next week, is the Shoshone Love Song by Roger Emerson. Now, there is a score for this one, but I can't share it publicly because uh, of the, the distribution rights that are attached to it. I'm allowed to take copies... I'm not allowed to give it away on the internet. So if you are a member of Home Choir, that is to say, if you're subscribed to the newsletter, you have access to the Home Choir Dropbox in which we have put the score that's only available if you subscribe to the newsletter. So if you haven't done so, please do so and you'll get the link through that newsletter. OK, so if you do want the score, it is there. That being said, I'm going to teach you all, uh, re revise it for you now. Uh, part by part, okay? It's a really, really lovely, lovely piece uh, with words from the Native American tradition. And of course, we are so, so grateful um, for the, for well, for that wonderful, wonderful tradition and respect to the people um, for whom this is a sacred lyric. Now, Roger Emerson is an American composer and arranger, and I've been lucky enough to speak with him over Zoom. He's a really, really nice chap, and this is a really, really lovely song. So we're going to start off by just reminding ourselves the, of the main tune. If you just give me a second whilst I swap the various parts out. Excuse me. Dum -de -dum -de -dum, da -dum -da -dum. Ooh. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the soprano alto part. Well, actually, no, the soprano part first. Okay, the main tune. You can see here we've got different colours here on screen. That indicates where it goes from unison into harmony. Okay, now alto, you sing with the soprano through the first four lines. Okay, harmony there is marked in for tenors and basses. Okay, so for sopranos and altos at the start, the tune goes. Fair is the white star of twilight, and the sky clearer at day's end. Okay, that 
that's both soprano and alto. And then sopranos, you do exactly the same thing again, but with a little more intensity. So the third line you sing. Fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clear at day's end. Excellent. And then the soprano sings. But she is fair. Sing that together, please, Sopranos, but she is fairer after three. One, two, three, but she is fairer. She is dearer. She, my heart's friend. Fabulous. Now, the next verse is absolutely identical musically. You sing here. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon roving to sky's end. Make sure that you've noted that the words are different on the second verse, only slightly, but otherwise we'll end up with skamoons in the recording, okay? Moon, second time. Sopranos, you sing the tune all the way through and note there's an extra, but she is fairer, more worth loving. She, my heart's friend, with the little, just a little pause on the last hearts. So let's uh, sing it through with the soprano voice louder. Then we'll have a look at the harmony parts that go underneath. So. This is the twinkly one, everyone, from the top Shoshone love song. Deep breath. Here we go. Fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clear at this end. Fair Two, starting in just a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Here we go. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon rolling to the sky's outro here. There we are. Okay, so that's the main melody. And I will say, I hope everyone will have a go at recording that tune. Altos, it only goes up to a C. And I'm quite happy for those of you in the tenors and basses, if you wish to, we put four folders in the Dropbox ready for next week. And one of them is a unison line. So uh, you can sing whichever octave you like. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't. There is the white star of twilight. Probably not down there, please, basses. And likewise, sopranos. <laughs> Maybe not up there, sopranos. But, you know, the two octaves uh, are absolutely fine, OK, if you want to put those in. Now, let's have a look at the alto part for this one. And it is largely... It's very, very straightforward and very, very pretty. So the first two lines, as I've already said, it is identical. In fact, 
Um, yeah, so it's fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clearer at day's end. The first two lines are the same as the main tune, same as the soprano. Then alto, so if you ever look at the third line, we sing fair is the white star of twilight and the sky clearer at day's end. Okay, let's have a little listen to that harmony part. Okay, just allow me to scroll back and put the alto part front and center. Here we go. Let's just do that one more time. Here's that little run in. Deep breath. Excellent. Such a nice little line, all within the space of about, well, a third or so, a fourth. Really very, very singable. And then beautiful, beautiful harmonies in the chorus part, but she is fairer. It's, it really is just those three pitches we sing. But she is fairer, she is dear, she my heart's friend. Let's sing that together. But she So let's sing that chorus together with the alto part louder. Here we go. Let's do verse two. So first two lines in unison with the sopranos. Here we go, altos. Here's our line. We sing. Fantastic. Just bear in mind that last she, my heart's friend, will just last a little bit longer. So do watch the conductor at that point. But otherwise, that is the alto part. Let's go back and have a look at the tenor and bass part. It's one line for TB here. And the good news is, tenors and basses, is that at the uh, at the start, well, it's almost identical in terms of unison. There's just uh, three notes different, okay? And you can see it happens at at day's end. So otherwise we sing the tune, and this is what it sounds like, tenors and basses. I'm just going to make your part louder and make the altos a bit quieter. Here we go. So your line sounds like this. <laughs> Did 
Did you hear that? Just those last three notes. Clearer our days end. And I'm sure there are a whole load of ten altos out there who'll be going, well, I can do all three parts, which is fantastic. Okay. Fair is the white star of twilight, and the sky clearer our days end. Let's sing that together. Here we go. Tenors and basses. Here we go. Fair is the white star of twilight, and the sky clearer at day's end. Excellent. Now the next nine, it, it, there's one little bit that's different, but otherwise it's very, very similar. We sing... Fair is the white star of twilight, that together one two three fair is the white star of twilight it's a really really nice line there and we sing and the sky clearer at day's end so you see it comes back to the place it was at the end of that second line so and the sky after three one two Three and the sky clear at day's end. Fantastic. Let's sing from that second chunk from the third line. Fairies, starting here, basses and tenors. Here we go. One, two, three. Fairies, the one I saw. Now we get this gorgeous bit of harmony. I have to say, tenor bass, I think, get the nicest line here, just because you, you get the lovely cr uh, crunch against the bass line. So it is, but she is fairer, she is dearer, she smile on the last note there because it's a, a major sound. Let's sing that together. But she is fairer. After three, one, two, three. But she is fairer. She is dearer. She my heart. Let's sing verse two. Most of the first two lines here are unison. Here we go, nice deep breath. Two, three. Fair is the white star of twilight and the moon roaming to skies So that is the Taylor and bass part. Now, we're going to be singing and sending that one next week. We, as always, will have the voice louders, and we're going to sing each part three times. There'll be one clap at the beginning, and I'll just invite people to sing whichever parts they like as many times as they like. So that is the Shoshone love song. Now, there's one more piece on the roster. Quick sip of drink. I have to say, I'm so looking forward to hearing you folks sing these three songs. They're very, very different in terms of their style. And um, 
Well, particularly the first two, because they're my arrangements of the original. So, so to hear you with all these lovely instruments as well, it's going to be rather super. But let's uh, have a look at the third and final one. Now, I have taught this one line by line, so I'm not going to go through each part. We're just going to have four playthroughs, soprano, then alto, then tenor, then bass to remind you. And we're going to leave this one, I think, till last. So it's going to be... I'd say at least five weeks before we sing and send this one to give you plenty of time to remind yourself as to how it goes. Great, so I've got that all loaded up. So let's start off with the, well, it, usually it's sopranos first. So let's have the bass sing through first. Okay, so basses, then tenors, then altos, then sopranos. This, of course, is by Amy Beach. And the full teaching video for this is in the description. And so please, if you haven't had a chance to learn it, please do go and do so. But it's only about 90 seconds. So we're in the key of E flat. Bass is here, tenors, altos, sopranos. If you wish to sing along. But this is the bass louder sing through. Here we go. And... the bass line. Let's go back. Let's have the tenor part louder now. Just bear with me two shakes whilst I get that ready. And let's take the score back to the top. Such a lovely, simple and yet beautiful piece. Bass is there. Tenors are here. This is Peace I Leave You by Mrs. Beach. This is the tenor louder. Nice deep breath and peace I leave. a lovely line and let's have the alto step forwards now i do think that amy beach was an alto because you know she could have just gotten away with writing i think two different pitches for the altos all the way through that but she makes sure everyone gets a nice line including and vitally the alto part so bass and tenor there's your note altos you start in unison with the sops and then 
you you split away. So we're ready. Alto sing through. Here is Peace I Leave With You. Nice deep breath. And Peace I Leave Nice alto part, isn't it? Just watch out on the score. Bear in mind, this was a free score. Bar 13, the first note should be a D natural. For some reason, the little natural symbol that I dropped into the slide went for a wander there. It's It shouldn't be uh, halfway between the E flat and the F. It's a D natural in bar 13, the first note. I'll make sure it's right when we do the recording session. And last but not least for today, what an epic session it's been. Revising these three songs, just imagine what this is going to sound like sung by hundreds of people from all over the world. These three songs, a great sea shanty, a beautiful twinkly song with a Native American lyric, and this gorgeous, gorgeous piece by Amy Beach. Very, very special music indeed. Okay, so bass, tenors, altos, and sopranos starting here. Sops louder. Here we go, nicey breath, and... Peace. Everybody, so that is our revision session for today. Three pieces now. Next week, it is the Shoshone Love Song. Let me just bring that up on screen, and then we'll leave it at least a week before we look at the next one. So, no rush, just use this session as you need to pop in and sing along and just make sure that you're happy because when it comes to the sing and send sessions all we do is we get our devices out we press record and we sing each part three times and then you just send the entire recording you put it into the dropbox and we leave it to the engineers to chop it all up and to make sense of all of it so that is what's going to happen next wednesday at 2 p.m so please make sure uh, you're ready for the Shoshone love song at that point. And don't forget, on Friday this week, just a couple of days, we shall be jumping in the line with the Senora and that fantastic Harry Belafonte track and more besides. And then a beautiful Sing Sunday, including 
Peace I Leave With You, and the Shoshone Love Song. So lots and lots of revision. I want to make sure that you are feeling really confident and ready to record when the time comes. So enjoy the rest of your day. I may see some of you in Choir of the Earth later on or tomorrow, but otherwise I'll see everyone for a fabulous fun Friday in a couple of days. And do enjoy the rest of your week. See you soon, folks. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.